Hi, I'm Randy Altman with Post Perspective. We're here at NAB 2019, and I've got Paul Babb and Dave McGavern from Maxon, and you guys have been pretty busy, very, very busy. So Maxon, uh, makers of Cinema 4D, at the show you announced that you bought Redshift. Yeah, it's really quite exciting to yeah. be able to bring out that news here at NAB. So. What Redshift is and how it will um, how it will help users of, of Cinema 4D. Yeah, so Redshift was probably the first um, ray tracing GPU engine available that was really able to be used in the highest end production space. And they're just amazingly smart guys, and they're loved by our community. So that it's already it already works in Cinema 4D, and it's been really picking up steam a lot. And so when I started at Maxon, we were out looking to see what we needed to do in this space, and we had a conversation with them and. Here we are today, and they're going to be part of the family, and we're going to be making it work just really, really well with cinema. Now, don't they have a bit of a games background? Has it been used in games for the most part, or? The, the three of them, the three founders, all came from, I believe, Double Helix at a time together. Okay. And so they grew up programming games, and so they have a lot of knowledge there. But it's used in all sorts of industries right now. So it's um, high-end feature film, so it's in a lot of the Marvel movies, as well as in a lot of the game studios as well. Broadcast as well. Yeah. And I know that you said at the press conference, you said that uh, you'll still be working with other rendering systems as well, so it's not... Absolutely. I mean, this, we have customers that love all the different render engines, and we have customers of Redshift who love other host applications, and there's no reason to try to change that. Um, we want people to use the, the combination that fits them best, but it's just important for us to have the technology in-house. Okay, and why were they the company that you seem to think would fit best? From, from my perspective, their culture fits really, really well. Um, they have the same customer connection that we value at Maxon, so they're very open with their customers. They communicate a lot. Um, they, they just have the passion that I see with the Maxon family as well. Very active in the community. And so, you know, when you sit down and talk to them, it, it became pretty clearly that we had shared goals. Right, and you guys, active in the community, you guys are very good about propping up the people that are using, the artists that are using your tools. As you've heard me say a million times, the painting's more interesting than the paintbrush. And they have a similar philosophy, is that? Yeah, very, very customer oriented. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely, all they want to see is people making beautiful stuff. Yeah. They're, not, they're not overly worried about you know, day to day, they want to make great technology and and have their customers be able to enjoy that and create great content. Okay, and, and are they keeping their name? They're retaining all of, the, all of that? You're working Yep, they're going to be or? running as a subsidiary under the Maxon group. Okay. So they'll still be Redshift. You'll still go there. That's still where you'll find their product. Their forums are still alive. Their communication with their customers will be the same. It's, it's business as usual. We now just have two sets of extremely smart engineers who can spend more time together planning for a better future. And they're still going to support other DCC applications, so we're, you know, we would not going to be cutting that off in benefit of Maxon. So. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, and Dave, you've been here at Maxon for a year. Uh, not quite. It's only, I believe, eight months. Yeah. Oh my. Okay. Yeah, so, so it's, it's been it's quite pretty, a, pretty fresh. <laughs> it's been it's been a very fast, uh, exciting time. It feels like it's been longer, but it's not not been that long. Yeah. And how does the dynamic work with you guys? You're based in. I'm based Germany. in Frankfurt, or outside of Frankfurt, in the headquarters. And you're in LA. Still, yeah. Still yeah. in Southern California. And yeah, the big change, and I think we might have been talking about it at IBC, I'm not sure. We did. Was that before, the US entity sort of, you know, kind of ran on its own, had its own plans, its own marketing strategy. But I really see Maxon as a global company. And so we have four offices already, five now with Redshift. And what we did is really made sure that we took took the knowledge that we had within the company and really had them working worldwide on what they're doing. So Paul obviously has, has a great customer knowledge and, and really well known in the industry. So I asked him to run marketing worldwide for Maxon. Yeah, it, 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 we were somewhat siloed as, as Maxon offices. It was just, it, it was a different philosophy with the, the former hierarchy. Mm -hmm. um, pretty much let the distributors or people do what they want to do in their particular territory. But we reached that point where Maxon needed to be a global company. You know, we were all doing similar things and the messaging was not uniform or, or global. And it's, we really did reach that point where it was time for us to start working together and have a clear, concise, single message going out to the market. And it seems to be doing really well with the company. Yeah. The, the people are so motivated and they're so excited about what's next. And so Paul's now working you know, across the world, making sure that our message is the same wherever we're selling our product. And he's teaching me how to use 
how to use the product and <laughs> yeah. teach me all about the 3D space. So I think it's been a great it's been a great experience. Okay. Well, speaking of education, you guys also uh, make sure that people know how to use the system. Cineversity is that still? It is, and actually, we're working hard to try to bring it to uh, to have it be directly accessible through the Maxon website now, as opposed to a separate Maxon US product. Yeah. It's now going to be uh, integrated into the, the whole Maxon Global offering. So that's one of the things we're working on is bringing that together for uh, hopefully this year, so that so when people are looking for user education, they just can go straight to Maxon, go straight to Cineversity. Okay. And you guys have have had a busy year with the SciTech Award as well. <laughs> what was that like? Thank you. Yes. <laughs> that was. It's incredible. That was uh, not, not even just for Maxon to be receiving that award, um, but we were there with pioneers in the industry. I mean, Ed Catmull. I mean, you're, you're getting an award uh, right next to Ed Catmull. I mean, these guys are the guys, the brothers who wrote, uh, John and Thomas Knoll, who wrote Photoshop, were getting yep. an award at the same time. To be in that crowd, I mean, yeah, that's, Dave Simons and Dan Wilk. Dave Simons, those Effects guys from After Effects. Is, I mean, yeah. I mean, we were, we were blessed to be in the same room with those guys, let alone get an award at the same yeah. time. But yeah. it, does, it does really validate the impact that Maxon's had on the industry. Yeah. So just being able to go there, I mean, for me, I was almost cheating by showing up because I'm so new. <laughs> <laughs> but at the same point, seeing Perry Edward, Edward get the, reward, the award, it was just, it really shows that Maxon's had a major impact on, on yeah. film and TV. And, and to be recognized for that was just an honor. Yeah, I hate to tell you, just th these years are not like this usually. Maxon doesn't usually get Academy Awards and you know by companies all. In the, when it, I can't. You know, all I'm the years all, can't possibly for, be this way. I'm all for changing <laughs> usual. So you're saying don't buy the tux, still rent it for now. <laughs> yeah. until, gotcha. Okay. Uh, anything else I haven't asked that you feel is important people should know about Maxon and Cinema 4D? Uh, we've got an incredible lineup of presenters, and there's a bunch of them that are showing off Redshift with Cinema 4D. They were surprised as anybody else, but we knew kind of had some, some, some people in our pockets, so there's some really incredible um, presentations going on out over there with some incredible work from, say, Spider-Man Homecoming to uh, medical animation to incredible broadcast work, just across the board, some really great work going on. Yeah, when you said we don't get awards, though, we've also been nominated for the Yes, we were nominated for the Best of Show, the Product of the Year Award here at yeah. uh, NAB, which we, we'll find out tonight, I guess. So I'm thinking this is kind of feeling usual. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice if, yeah. all, if all our years were like this? Yeah, exactly. uh, I think just come by and say hi at the booth. We're have, we have a lot of fun. It's a great place to hang out. I have never seen the booth more packed. I mean, we literally shoulder to shoulder. There's no room. We actually had somebody complain that we needed to get a bigger booth. Really? Yeah. Well, that's a good problem to have. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay. Paul, Dave, thank you so much for thank coming you. by. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I'm Randy Altman, Post Perspective. It's NAB 2019.